How's it going, Cambria? Hi, I'm doing well, thank you. Thanks How so are you? <laughs> I'm doing well, thank you. Thank you so much for talking to us. Um, you are an instructor at two different locations in Utah, Sanctuary Day Spa and uh, the Sports Mall in Murray, is that right? Yep, that's right, yeah. Currently well, that's where I'm at. Well, good. Um, I wanted to ask you about yoga and just, I guess generally, what are some of the underlying reasons why people should incorporate a yoga practice into their wellness? Well, to answer that question as simple as possible, which there really isn't a simple answer to it, because um, it's beneficial in many different aspects, um, the thing that I've just come to um, really want to honor in my own personal practice and why I actually do yoga is that we all, every day, we are going through experiences where we are we become magnets to the energies around us, the energies that trap inside of the body from the, the different experiences, whether they're pleasant experiences or unpleasant experiences. Our energy tends to be like a sponge and absorb it in. And a lot of times if it's heavy energy, our body stops working. Quite on, on a quite literal physical level, our body feels heavy um, if we have a lot of tension in our body or if we just got into a fight with somebody or something, even if it's ourselves, or if, if we're, even if we're elated, our body moves differently. So one particular reason why I feel that yoga has such great benefits is that it allows us a space and time to come to a settling point where we're in the moment enough to actually let go of some of the energies that we pick up over time and experience. And it allows us to open up our body and our energetic field to receiving more positive vibrations. And, um, and that even comes to a scientific level with our internal organs and the the chakra system scientifically our organs and our little energy centers throughout our body um, govern how the body's going to function so in yoga the poses are actually quite specific to help us to wring out our sponge like nature to wring out the organs to flush them to purify them of the blood that's you know not as rich and nutritious and oxygenated um, and etc I mean it could go on and on for days so to sum it up really the benefits of yoga are the heart mind and body a three-point balance that we come to in our duality the duality is the inner sense of becoming that we have it, all, it, it, it exists in everyone and then the outer also we have the outer experience of the body which we tend to have the judgment either it be self-judgment or worrying about what others are judging us. So in yoga, we come to that three-point balance or do our best because all those three points are necessary for different reasons. We have that three-point balance triangulation going on for a reason, and it helps to pull together our duality, our light and our dark, our, um, our masculine and our feminine, and it helps to bring us to a balance that is – awesome for the mind, body, spirit, awesome for really that sense of becoming and um, everyone deserves to experience the quality of life that you can get just by taking a few moments um, with a peaceful yoga practice. Wow, that is, that is such an intense answer and I love, <laughs> I love Everything about what you said. What if I'm a person that doesn't, I don't get all of that and it seems a little bit woo-woo and just kind of like out there. Is there still a place for, for a practice that's just like, I need to get a workout or I need to relieve some stress or, you know, whatever. Is there? Absolutely, there is an answer to that. So um, there's... There's two kind of two types of people. Um, I just attended a yoga class the other day that really um, kind of pinpointed this. So this this question is really perfect timing. Um, there's really there's, and this is just 
this is just from my point of view. So there's two kinds of people. So there's the poetic and then there's the physical. Um, so the poetic is the language kind of, I speak the poetic lang language where it's like, okay, all of this, all of this energy flowing, moving, brightness, intrinsic goodness, all of these cool things that are very poetic, I can hear that as I'm practicing. And that helps me to feel fulfilled in my yoga practice. But then I have this other side too. So I have both sides. Some people have both sides. Some people are one side more than the other. So it's the body. The body, like if my body doesn't feel good, or if I don't feel good about a particular thing that I'm doing with my body, it ends up affecting my reaction to life. So if you're more of a body person, the workout that is delivered is awesome because it can be hard. Yoga is can be hard. It can be intense. A lot like life can be intense. So you get into yoga and you get into the harder parts of yoga and you're there, you're in the now, you're breathing, you're sweating, and everything else just fizzles out. Everything else just goes away. So it gives you an opportunity to work your body, but the natural organic side effect is a calmer mind in the end because you haven't had time to think about all of the to-dos and the stresses. And furthermore, just the breathing that happens in yoga, even if you just sat for 20 minutes with your eyes closed, didn't even move your body, and you just breathe, there is on a cellular level a purification happening because every breath holds tiny little molecules, quite literal cells that are being purged from the body as we breathe. So every time we breathe out, we are doing something good for our body as well as coming to a great sense of balance in our nervous system. So there's a lot of science, there's a lot of spirit, it all comes together. So there's something for everyone, no matter what level, no matter if you only have 20 minutes to sit on a cushion with a straight spine, as straight as you can get it, and breathe. Maybe you wanna lay down and breathe. Just that's, that's, really, that's really the first step to get there and the rest kind of follows suit as you build your experience, and it gets easier. It really gets easier over time. Right. I love that. I, I, um, I particularly connect to the breathing part because I do think that that's just, for me, and, connect, and, and getting in the now and not living in my head space or these dreams that I've created and just getting into this present moment, I think the, the breath is, is the key to that for me. So... I, I connect to what you're saying there, for sure. Awesome, yeah. It's important to be here now, and the breath facilitates that, definitely. It's like, um, it's like I, I like this little example. It's like having a glass um, and pouring some fresh squoze apple juice into the glass, and the fresh squoze apple juice is going to look muddy, right? Because it has all the sediment, and it's just been stirred up. So that's kind of like how we walk around in, in this state of being stirred up and the different energies coming at us and different ideas and we're exposed to social media and all these different ideas that can cloud us, you know, it like creates a blockage for us. So, but if we just set that glass on a nice solid surface and we let that glass of apple juice sit for a few, all of a sudden all that sediment, come, sediment comes to the bottom of the glass and the apple juice is clear and crystal and yummy fresh. That's kind of like what the yoga does is stir it up and then let it all settle and fizzle out and you'll see a lot clearer and feel a lot better. It's a great metaphor. Um, so do you, do you have any suggestions for someone who just wants to kind of get started um, just get started in a yoga practice. I mean, what do you recommend on their own? What do you recommend? I mean, obviously they can come see you, but... Yeah, yeah, of course. I'm happy to take on anyone that wants to begin their yoga journey. That's, that's how I got there. I have had some great teachers. Um, and that's what I would, I would recommend is I would... Um, it, it, sometimes there's a little bit of fear in stepping out and trying to connect with someone you don't know. Um, I would recommend looking, seeking out a teacher somewhere, um, or even there's, there's YouTube videos 
videos um, on the YouTube and find a simple sun salutation, a sun salutation every morning and trying to do it every night before you go to bed, even if it's just like five repetitions of a sun salutation cycle, um, which is one of the easier things, um, that's a really great way to just at least get the body moving. Mm -hmm. um, so I recommend a sun salutation to start. And um, uh, there's so much more. That's just, that's like the very itty bitty tip of the iceberg. There's so much more. So, but everything's a progression like a flight of stairs. You know, you have to take one step at a time to get there. So the best thing to start would be to just really decide and choose for yourself that you want to start. And here's the thing is they talk a lot about non-judgment and don't judge yourself. Um, that's very true. Don't don't let, allow judgment to interfere with your own personal evolution. And if your own personal evolution is calling for you to try yoga, I suggest just try it and be open and listen to your body. Get to know your body. Get to know the place that you dwell, your house, your sacred space that is your very own, the only one that you get. Get to know it little by little with no pressure. And as you build your experience, then you can throw in the judgment and you can say, okay, I want to get this one better. I want to do this better. And that kind of judgment is good because that's going to help you in your progression. So I just suggest get to know yourself a little bit more on a more organic level and allow the spirit to accept wherever you are to begin. Yeah. Well, I really love that personally about yoga because I think you can move through life so busy and not even know for weeks that your hamstrings are tight, that they're <laughs> begging for attention. But yes. when you sit in a yoga practice, then you, you finally get to show love to those hamstrings or whatever body part is kind of calling to you. So I do love true. that. Yes, it's true. And the different zones of the body govern so much. There is so much to know about it and to learn about it. Um, and the side effects um, are mood. It's, it's the mood. It's the energy. It's the passion. It's the grit. It's all of these really great things are just these natural side effects, organic side effects, because we are progressing and evolving and letting go so much so that we can continue an upward spiral, um, even in between some of those little downhill runs, because we all have them. Uh, mm -hmm. But yeah, it's breaking these shells of these bodies of ours in our mortal form is definitely an awesome tool for evolution. Well, cool. Cambria, where can we find you? So I have um, a blog online, and it's cambria at wordpress.com. So that's a great way to kind of keep up with me. That's my everything blog. Um, and cambria.com is in the works. That's my website. So that's a really great way. Uh, you can always shoot me emails. I love emails. I, it's a great way to communicate with people. So shoot me an email at cambria at gmail.com. And um, those two studios that I'm at, um, I have regular class schedule. My class schedule will be posted on my website as soon as that's up and coming. And I have some really great goals to um, look forward to in the future. So, yeah, I'd love to have you connect in any of those ways. Well, perfect. I will include all the links to your website, your emails, and you do private sessions, right, so that someone can email you directly to. That is right. You can, absolutely, yep. And then you also mentioned that you do group, um, private and group sessions, so. Yeah, group. that's true. Yes, yeah, so, um, yeah, it's, if you get together some of your friends, have a group yoga session. I can do, you know, I break it down. Um, everything's always negotiable. I do have some set rates, but I just am excited about this, and I want to share it as much as I can as your yoga Debbie. So, perfect. Well, I'm definitely going to contact you. I think either a private one or I might get a group together. Maybe we could film it. So awesome. Very cool. I'd love that. Well, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate yes. it. You're very welcome. All right, you have a great day. Okay, back right. at you. <laughs> <laughs>
Namaste.